to the Stateless Man. You're joined by Fergus Hodgson and Brad Jordan. We are on the Overseas Radio Network, and we're speaking with Debbie and Yosef, uh, creators of HouseSittingExperience.com. And we just want to go through what um, what makes this site distinct. You know, Debbie, do you want to say why why do you see a need for a new house sitting site? You know, what what did you bring to the table? Well, I think what makes our site a little bit different is the um, the community aspect of our website. I bring in, I, I love nature photography, and I do a lot of photography, so we include a lot of stories. We're going to have lots of video. I think we include a lot more multimedia so that people can really experience what it's like to travel around and see different places and actually live. In different places, we are we're all over the net on Facebook. Do you recommend that people travel as a couple, as you have? We've been very successful at it, and and I think it's because we both have different skills that we bring to the table. My husband, um, we own a construction company, so he's very handy, which a lot of the house owners like uh, as far as maintenance and and taking care of lawns and and pools and things like that. And then I have the caring of the house and a lot of this online skills for keeping in touch and things like that. So it's a great combination for us. We've been very successful at it. Property management and uh, hotel management also. Right. Also, uh, a big consideration for a lot of homeowners is we found that 80% of the homes that we do sit have pets. And the fact that, that Joe and I both have owned pets all of our lives, both dogs and cats and several other types of animals, we really love animals. And I think people are really looking for that because a lot of times when we go in and we interview with somebody, they'll they'll want us to come by their house and actually meet their pets and see what their first reaction is to us. So, oh, um, well, we, so that is, an, it is an intimate process. What's the wildest pet you've ever had to kind of babysit and house sit or pet sit? I yeah, yeah. Say. Well, our first house sit, we had a, a green tree frog that lived in our loo. <laughs> Whoa, slow down. A tree frog in your bathroom? Yeah, in the toilet. Lived in the toilet. Whoa, that sounds... So I, my guess, you can take a dump in it. <laughs> Queensland, <laughs> at least. Uh, good luck if you have a green tree frog living in your toilet. Right, I guess you'd want to use another toilet at that, at that point. Is that one of the frogs that can like stick its tongue out really far? <laughs> no. <laughs> like you lift the seat up. And... <laughs> that was scary enough as it was. Let me tell you, without the tongue. <laughs> but were you, were you supposed to feed this frog in the toilet? in the toilet we and we didn't know that we, i mean we're from america right so we get this frog out of the toilet and we put it in the nearby uh, we have a little creek behind us so we put it yeah. back in the creek thinking we did a good thing we talked to the homeowner and he says well don't be surprised if it shows back up and sure enough a week later it was back in <laughs> whoa back in the toilet <laughs> or just back up to the house <laughs> back in the toilet that's crazy yeah, and what we do is we match up people from the the homeowners that are looking for house sitters and then the house sitters who are looking for the homeowners. Once we match them up, then they start talking between themselves and we've done our job. So we don't actually interview anybody. We just make sure that those people who need to meet each other do that. When they get in touch with the homeowner, the homeowner can require references or uh, some of them even require police report from the house sitters. But most of them, they just want to meet over a phone if, if they uh, live too far away from the location or meet on Skype so they can see and chat. Lots of them actually ask for references from previous house seats so they can talk to people where they house seated so they feel comfortable. Right. Actually, right. that's wonderful that we have Skype these days. That really breaks down a lot of the um, the barriers there. What I think is, you know, I, I really think that the energy that you put out there is what you get back. And I, that's one of the things that I think really makes our site different is we have a really good energy going on with it, attracting people who really like serving other people, the house sitters. It's such a win-win, you know. The, the homeowners really want to find people that are going to take care of their home and take care of their pets and, and just love them to death. 
So we we like to put that energy out there that that we love people who love pets and we love people who love win-win situations. So that I think gives us a little edge on that too. Everybody wins, kind of thing, you know. Right. Makes sense to me. Yeah, and, and but you you are based in Australia right now, but where what other parts of the world are showing are, are you seeing activity in in this realm? Are there particularly attractive areas for house sitting areas of the world? seems to be a really popular place, but but really, truly, it's but something that happens across the world because we've had we've met people here in Australia that just came back from house sitting in America. We've mm. had people mm. who uh, have England. have yeah England and and France and all over the world. It's really popular, and I think it's really indicative of the times because with what's happening in the economy, people are starting to look around. They still want to travel. They still want to have a good time, but they don't have quite the money that they used to or the opportunities. Nice. So this opens up a whole new area because, gosh, accommodations are one of the largest costs in traveling. And so when you don't have to pay rent, or you don't even have to pay utilities a lot of times. It really makes a difference. Also, for homeowners, if they have pets, it's a lot cheaper to have a house sitter than putting a pet into a pet hotel because over here it costs like $1,000 plus for just for one animal. You know? All right. Uh, so I want to uh, say that, just repeat the website it is house sitting experience.com. And we've been speaking with. Debbie, Debbie and Yosef uh, Dukic. Uh, I don't know. If that, I've got that. Probably got that wrong again. But, but that yeah. So that, they are the owners of a new, of a new website in the house sitting movement. I want to thank you. I want to thank you so much for your time. Anyway, it was a pleasure to have you on the show. Right on. So you're listening to the Overseas Radio Network, uh, the Stateless Man. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>